Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So CSIR net June 2025 exam is over and uh, I was not able to attend this exam personally. Those who know about me, they know that I'm currently not in India. Uh, those who are connected to me on Instagram, by the way, you can get connected to me on Instagram. The link is there on the in the description also. So yeah, I was not able to attend this exam personally, but thanks to the student community, a lot of students have shared their feedback of exam, their review of exam. Many of them have shared questions also with me. So I thought of making this video considering the lot of questions related to the last exam. Okay, because that's what we are going to talk about. Because one thing which is very constant among all the queries, all the reviews, all the feedbacks which I have got is that paper was tough this time. CSIR June 2025 was a tough exam. So I'll be talking about that in this video. And uh, thanks to a lot of YouTube channels who have posted memory based questions. With the help of those videos, I was able to understand uh, what questions were asked and which topics they have asked. Although we will wait for a detailed video, I'll be making a detailed video once the response sheet comes in, then we will be able to have a detailed analysis of this exam and we can get more in depth of it. But as of now, I'm going to talk about few things because the time for the next exam is very less. Okay, you have just few months left for the next exam and you have to study a lot. Okay, so considering that I don't want to Stay or I don't want to wait till the next or till the response sheet comes in because it will take some time like 10 15 days for the response sheet to come come in and till that time you can actually start some of your preparation that's why I'm making this video so starting with the fact that exam was tough this time uh, I would say after watching all the question videos and after understanding what type of questions were asked I can say that paper was not tough but it was unpredictable. That is the term which I can say. Okay, so the paper was unpredictable. We have not predicted that CSR net exam paper is going to be in that way because there were a lot of topics from where we expect questions. They were not asked in that way. For example, we expect a lot of questions from quantum chemistry. There were very few questions from there. Thermodynamics, there were few questions from there. Uh, we do not expect a lot of questions from uh, like EPR spectroscopy but we got some questions from there i think three questions were there from epr two four marker and one two marker so basically 10 marks weightage to just epr so things are changing okay and uh, now let's understand that what you can do because you have to learn with what are the things have been done or whatever the exam was so generally csir june cycle is considered a little bit on a tough side compared to I mean, different type of paper compared to CSIR December cycle. But all in all, if you see the, the level of exam, like if you just see the previous three, four, three, four question papers, you will see that the paper has changed the, pay, the way how the question is asked in CSIR that has changed. And uh, this is concerning because you are preparing for it and you have to be ready with it. So few things which I have summarized from it. That's what I'm going to talk about. Number one is that now you cannot just uh, go with the surface level of knowledge okay you cannot just study some topics from like over like overview of certain topic and you can think that you will be able to solve question you have to get some in-depth knowledge of that topic in order to solve certain questions okay and the way how questions are asked that is also not similar to what we have seen now till now there has been a lot of change in it and we'll be talk about that let the response should come then we will be having question itself and then we can talk we can like we can decode that properly but as of, as of now one thing which is clear is that you have to include more topics in your preparation till now like if you go with organic inorganic combination or physical inorganic combination it used to be sufficient if you are good at both of them and if you just include few topics of the third it was like well to go and easy to crack uh, for the exam but now things have changed you have to include all the three you cannot just shy away with one of them if you are not good with certain thing if you are good with organic and inorganic but not good with, good with physical chemistry you can't do anything you have to study that okay especially if you have to crack that cutoff of like 110 plus marks okay so you have to include the third one and you cannot just ignore the third okay so this is one very important and you can say very uh, like statistically correct summary which I got with the CSI net exam okay that uh, 
you have to include all the three topics organic inorganic physical you have to cover all these three there are few high weightage topics which are there i'll just talk about them okay i'll just give you a list of them so that you can start at least to a preparation of them so inorganic chemistry high weightage topics coordination chemistry organometallic chemistry uh, coordin uh, uh, chemical bonding and uh, inorganic spectroscopy okay spectroscopy is a very 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 important okay just mind this thing be it organic spectroscopy inorganic spectroscopy or molecular spectroscopy or physical spectroscopy all these three are important because once you go in research everything revolves around spectroscopy if you make a molecule you have to characterize it and for that you need spectroscopy okay so that for that sake see if you go to any research if anybody is here who is doing phd they all know that in the first year of their phd they have to go through a coursework in that coursework spectroscopy is taught as another i mean as a coursework so that is the importance of that topic that's why csir want to test you over there so spectroscopy is going to be something which should be in your list clear that okay study that inorganic organic physical all three spectroscopy completely so these were four topics from inorganic chemistry from organic chemistry if you want to study study reagents uh, spectroscopy i already told you stereochemistry is very important okay so these three things should be very clear from organic chemistry talking about physical chemistry again spectroscopy i already told you apart from that chemical kinetics is super important electrochemistry is important thermodynamics is important and uh, if you are good with physical chemistry quantum chemistry is also very important okay so try to include these topics in your preparation so these are some like you can say these are like uh, the high or bigger topics of all these three organic inorganic and physical which from which you can start your preparation you cannot just go with the shallow knowledge of these topics in exam and think that you will be able to solve question you have to have a good knowledge of these topics in order to be able to solve question from this topic okay the second thing is about the questions now just by solving previous year's question is not going to help you have to solve new questions you have to solve challenging questions you have to practice a lot of questions okay when i say about this uh, because making csr net level question is very difficult uh, it is not possible for any random person to make a question of csr net level but there are certain books which you can follow to make or to solve some question especially if you are talking about uh, physical chemistry so there is a book by kl kapoor like there is a series of book volumes of book by kl kapoor which has uh, i mean questions uh, in between and that is basically for entire physical chemistry so you can go with that you can uh, download the pdf of those books or purchase that book and try to solve the uh, examples which are there okay so that is going to give you a lot of more challenging questions compared to what you get in the previous year papers and third and most important thing is because you have very less time for the next exam you have to give more time to your preparation i mean you have to increase the number of hours for which you are preparing so you have to uh, if you were earlier preparing for let's say one and two or three hours increase that maximize that try to give four to five hours you have to dedicate yourself for the preparation okay you cannot just do side preparation and qualify this exam that's not going to work as of now so these are certain things which i found from the initial impression about the exam and i thought of sharing with you i thought that we should talk about it do let me know if you have any query or if you want to share something in the comment section i would be very happy to hear from you guys and uh, we'll wait for the response sheet and uh, that time uh, i'll be making a more detailed video about it many of you were asking about our new uh, batch or the next batch for csr december 2025 cycle so we are working on the back end and we'll be launching the batch uh, very soon maybe in a week so just wait for just few days and we will come up with the new batch for uh, the december 2025 cycle so stay tuned for that i'll be announcing that on youtube itself so yeah we'll be uh, like talking about that very soon so that's it from my side for this particular video uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, please subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it yet follow me on instagram linkedin and other uh, social media platforms the links are there in the description of this video see you guys in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care